out of the field. I am everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Huh! <laughs> 
Oh, you're back. We have news of your son. Oh. He died trying to find the other treasure. He didn't know you were doing the same. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Don't blame yourself. He is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. Circling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing. Were you serious before, Mimir? Grassfelger truly wishes to retire? Can she even do that? Not be held? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. Something else I recall about that Greek player mentioned, if you won't take offense at the critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so.
headed back to the city? Preferable to silence at last? What a rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. No more for now. Focus. to my balance. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. A true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Prayer. Here. Sparkling.
brother. You're covered in fire. Uh, 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 I suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. <clears throat> I knew we'd left something behind. armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece. Ah, just when I thought you couldn't get more godly. Prepare to be very impressed.
Again for finding health of ball. Now, uh, let me repair that armor for you. I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight Alice. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Well, seems like a good time to get back to that story I asked for, brother. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah, women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. 
Enough talk for now. Be ready. You are not 
Wasting my breath over. His berserker champions even less so. Trash. It's a lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before there was nothing to be done. But finding that hilt changed things. Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body. I regret exchanging my life for my freedom. That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. As I was saying about the Laird and his brother, all summer they'd upheld their oath to avoid the touch of woman. Yet here before them stands a fair maiden in need of their help to cross the river. The Laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and forwards back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the Laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries. How could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. Brother, I set that lass down across the river because you were carrying the spell. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. Are they a day indeed? Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first... <laughs> Very few know this, but Freyr was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time. You tell. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Another time. We must focus. <laughs> Brother, you're 
covered in Bifrost. Ha! <laughs> 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 